guys, it is your boy, Chubby Muffin, back here again with another unboxing. And this time, it is from, ooh, Huber Aguilar. Aguilar. It's from Huber Aguilar? Yeah, Aguilar, yeah. And um, he is actually the owner of Runadex. So, today we have an unboxing from Runadex. I'm super hyped about this. This is his new shape. He hit me up on Instagram, and he was like, hey man, I've seen your videos, I love your videos, I wanna send you our new shape when it first drops so that you can tell the whole world about Runa. Depending on what you feel, you just bad, good, whatever. Give your honest review on Runa. So, I was like, well, pff, that's a bad. That's a bad. I've heard so much about how good their shapes are and how good the quality of decks is, so let's get into this thing, guys. I have no scissors again. I don't know what happened to my scissors. <laughs> Oh, okay. We got into it. All right. Now, this is completely a surprise. I have you know. Okay, completely a surprise. He didn't want to show me anything. Okay, he was like, nah, I'm not going to send you a picture of it because I want it to be a complete surprise. And I love surprises. So, we're going to take it out. I'm going to show the camera right away. Boom. Oh, wow. That is a pretty bottom ply. That is a pretty, pretty bottom ply. Oh, I can already tell. I like that shape of that deck. Wow. That is so pretty. We got anything else in here? Oh, we got some stuff. Oop, here we go. We got a note. It smells strong of Sharpie. All right. Hey, Jeremy, here's the board! Exclamation point. I hope you like it! Exclamation point. I have 100% confident in my work and know it'll be one of your dailies. Been in the FB game for just over a year, so I'll trust you'll feel that while using the board. Thanks for the spotlight on your YouTube channel. Enjoy, H. H, I like that. Let's get into this thing, guys. First, I'm gonna pull out this tape. And I think what he has in here is sponsor me tape, I think. Or he said it on his Instagram. It looks like there's two different pieces. There's like a more coarse one. I like this feeling a lot. And then there's a more smooth one. I like this coarse one though. That's a really nice tape right there. All right, let's pull this deck out. Okay. Wow. Holy balls, dude. This shape is crazy. And he's got that signature thing that he puts on top. I don't know what it is. I think it's the lady, but um, that's really nice looking. Wow. That is super nice looking. The bottom ply. I love it. It's not like too zebra-y. Zebra. You know what I'm talking about? It's not like stripe, 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 but it's nice and like, you know, two different colors. I really like how that looks. And then the back of it, as y'all know, I really, really like the super round tails and nose. Like, I don't like it when they're pointy. So I'm really digging that. Oh, the plies on here are pretty cool as well. It's like you got the turquoise. Is it like a turquoise? It's like green, natural, turquoise. Yeah, green, natural, turquoise, natural, and then the bottom ply. The turquoise is so light, it almost looks like a natural ply, but it's not. It's so nice, though. Wow. All right, I'm going to set this thing up, and um, I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. So, let's get into that. I don't know what happened to my white balance at the beginning of this clip, but I think I might have changed it on accident. That's why I look orange as hell, but yeah, sorry. I completely forgot to show you all the stickers. So, the first one is... Uh, sax tape and I'm not sure if that's the coarse stuff or the smooth stuff but sax tape sticker and then we got this one that kind of looks like an icon from like an old like vintage computer yeah and a little icon thing and then this like kind of rhombus or like parallelogram looking sticker thing pretty cool I have no idea what the significance of any of these stickers and if these are actually his official stickers but yeah this one's pretty nice and then you got the this like purple skull looking thing, which is also pretty cool. I like that one a lot. And yeah, that's it. And then there's one more, which is a vinyl. 
and it's uh it's really cool. I put this right in the center of the deck. And um, it's so nice. It's like this like Japanese, Chinese, I, I don't know, some kind of writing. But um, it looks really, really nice on this natural bottom ply. So I set the deck up, guys, and I've tried a couple tricks on it, and it, it feels really, really nice. Like, it feels super nice. Like, it is just actually so easy to flick tricks. Like, it feels just so simple to be able to flick tricks. I don't know why, I think it's the amount of concave on here, but the amount of concave on here is more than average that I normally ride on. It's got a good amount of concave, and you can see that from the actual dips on the board. There's a lot of concave, basically, and the kicks look low, but they feel really high, because whenever I flick this board, I can pop it really high, just by normally flicking the board. It just makes tricks so easy, so, so easy. And I really like this shape. I've never really had a deck that the dips were so defined, but um, I have tried uh, Kelsey's Wub before, and it, it reminds me of that Wub. But I really like the shape. I really, really like the shape. It makes the tricks feel so easy to flick. But the, the overall, like, curvature of the board it actually reminds me of a cruiser it gets so round to the point where it's almost like a squared tail but it's not it, it's still round it feels really really cool like really nice i like that a lot i like the way more round tails now like i wouldn't want to skate like a little rectangle but you know this is close to it but it's not exactly it it looks like it kind of juts out to the sides when it goes to the dips, but that's just because the dips are so significant. But it reminds me of the, um, like a catfish with the dips. Actually, not really, but you see how like on the catfish, when you're holding it this way, it kind of looks like it, it juts out a little bit further at the top. That's kind of what this reminds me of with the dips over here. It kind of juts out a little bit further right there. But it feels really, really nice. Like super buttery to do tricks on. I really, really enjoy this shape. Usually when you have low kicks on a board, you'll put low concave on the board. And medium kicks, medium concave. High kicks, high concave. But they can incorporate it high concave into low kicks and it just makes it the most beautiful shape that allows you to do tricks so easily. It's like it gives you the technical abilities that low kicks can give you but then incorporates the high concave which allows you to flick the board so easily. It's an ingenious idea. The craftsmanship and quality that goes into each one of his decks is also amazing. I was talking to him over DMs, and he says that he spends eight hours on each deck to perfect it. Eight hours, guys. Like, some of these companies just press out as many decks as possible in a quick succession, and you get a solid deck, but not a beautiful, handcrafted, amazing deck. And that's what this is, a beautiful, handcrafted, amazing deck that is super, super fun to ride. Super fun to ride. I just oh my god. It feels so nice I wish I would have marked out the nose and tail because I don't I don't technically know But I'm, I'm assuming this is the nose and that's the tail because this one just looks a bit higher And I know the nose kick is is a bit higher than the than the tail kick But it feels feels so nice so so nice I was landing nolly heels like crazy when I was practicing just before I started recording, but um, I don't know <laughs> Let's see if I can land a nolly heel on here Oh, uh, no, I can't. Dude, my nollie heels are getting worse and worse, I feel like. But yeah, nollie heels are even pretty simple on this thing, too. I was landing a lot when the camera wasn't on, but as soon as I flick on the camera, I can't nollie heel anymore. But yeah, it makes it so easy to flick tricks because the high concave. I really like the design of this whole deck and the whole shape of it as well. It feels really, really nice. And the dips give that, that extra touch. He was gonna send me the one that had the real wear on there, but he didn't receive the supplies in time before he sent out the deck. But this natural ply is super sick. Like, if you want natural plies, run up, bro. If you want real wear graphics, run up. They do both. That's so nice. You can tell the craftsmanship and quality just by putting your fingers on this board, how much time has gone into it. It feels that nice. And that's what I really like about this deck, is how nice it feels. Like, heel flips are good. Let's see about hard flips. Hard flips are nice. Hard flips actually feel real steezy on this board. I like that a lot. Oh, yeah. I like those hard flips a lot. That feels really nice. You can do anything on this deck, guys. This is a nice deck. 
I really like this, man. I really, really like this. Definitely go check out this company. Run a Dex, run a fingerboards on Instagram and on YouTube. He has a YouTube channel as well. I'll link both of those in the description below. If you want to get one, I think you'll contact him through DMs. I'm pretty sure he has a big cartel as well. I'll put that in the description below. This is a really solid deck, guys. Very, very solid deck. I really, really like the whole shape of it and the design as well. It's a very, very quality deck. Very quality. Thank you guys for watching this video. Huber, thank you for sending me this deck, man. It's Really, really nice. I'm really enjoying it. Super, super high quality. Thank you, man, so much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day. Peace.